The side flaps protect the convertible top frame of the SLS AMG Roadster. If the top touches the flap, you have to adjust the S bracket. Perform the following tasks on both sides of the vehicle. Check that the Bowden cable is properly tensioned. To do this, undo the reinforcement screws. The bottom pan head screw and the flat head screw at the top. Undo the grub screw almost completely. Turn the tension screw until the auxiliary flap has slight contact with the main flap. Then turn the tension screw one and a half turns. Check that the distance between the roll bars and flaps is 1 to 2 millimeters. Then turn the grub screw until the flap moves minimally. Then tighten the screw with an Allen key. If the clearance is too small, correct it using the grub screw. By doing so, you have to adjust the cable tension again. The grub screw is in the preset position. Fasten the two screws again. Fasten with 5.5 newton meters of torque. With that, the cable is correctly adjusted. However, the test shows that the flaps are still in the way. Place a clean cloth under the flaps so that no small parts fall down. Undo the pan head and flat head screw. Then the screw for the tensioning element. Pull it out together with the tensioning element. Then remove the cable. Move the flap upwards at a slight angle. Then remove the S bracket. Begin at the upper mounting of the drive. Carefully remove the retaining ring using a screwdriver. The bottom mount is next. Proceed just as above, but use a magnet so that the retaining ring doesn't fall. Remove the S bracket. Use a caliper gauge to measure the S bracket from socket to socket. This should be exactly 139 millimeters. Here that's not quite the case. Using a rubber hammer, adjust the S bracket carefully. Then measure again. Still not quite right. Now that's better. 139 millimeters. Install the S bracket in the reverse order. Now the cable comes back into place. Start with the longer side of the cable until the rubber sleeve and the lower pulley. Tip. Fix the cable here with tape. Then the top is easier. This is where you hook in the end. Then slide in the tensioner and wrap the cable around the pulley. Then tighten the tensioning screw until the auxiliary flap has slight contact with the main flap. Make sure that with this step, the grub screw is almost entirely out. Now tighten the tensioning screw one and a half rotations. Then check the stop. There must be one to two millimeters of clearance between the roll bar and the bottom of the flap. Adjust the flaps with a grub screw. 
Make sure to tighten only lightly using the Allen key, as otherwise the screw could break. Tighten the pan head screw and the flathead screw of the retention slightly. Then tighten with a torque of 5.5 newton meters. Remove the tape again. Once everything is in place, perform a function test. Here everything is all right and the top has a clearance of around 6 millimeters and goes easily past the flaps.